Welcome to Haker Equipment Company. We are a municipal equipment dealership. We have two locations, one in the city of Laverne covering Southern California and one in Las Vegas that covers the Southern Nevada area. The manufacturers that we represent are Vactor and their 2100 plus sewer cleaning model, the HXX Hydro Excavator along with other models that will clean or dig with the use of high pressure water and air conveyance. The IntelliView is used on the Vactor 2100 plus models. Hello, my name is Kerry Alcott. IntelliView Display Overview the F buttons below the screen select the option located above the button. Left arrow button closes the current screen page and moves to the previous menu, like a back button. Menu button brings up the configuration menu page. Up, down arrows. Press up or down arrows to make selections or adjustments. The OK button. OK to accept selection, like an inner button on a keyboard. The IntelliView display provides controls and displays most of the functionality of the unit. Among the things displayed are chassis engine, auxiliary engine or blower, hydraulics, and the electrical control system. The display acts as a bridge between the chassis and the Vector module. A variety of settings can be changed through the controls of the display. The display controls work very much like many other devices we encounter in everyday life. Above the F buttons, you can see an icon. This icon is for chassis engine. This icon is for the PD blower. Note that if your Vactor is a fan unit, there would be an icon for an engine here. This icon is for group functions. And this icon is for the Vactor control modules, called VMN modules. In the upper left corner of the screen is a flow meter. It displays the status of the rotor pump flow. GPM, rotor pump gallons per minute. The system counts the number of pump strokes in one minute and multiplies it by three. The Vactor water pump will move an average of three gallons per stroke. Note, the water system flow is a calculated value based on the control system's ability to monitor the operating parameters. Low water, leaking seals, a dirty Weiss drainer, reduces the accuracy of the reported value. Footage counter. ABS means absolute. Feet of hose out of reel. REL means relative. Feet of hose out or in from a set point. Relative is set to zero by a footage counter reset switch on the hose reel control option box. Note the footage counter is a separate option and must be added when ordering. Hydraulic oil temperature. The LED will be green when the hydraulic oil temps are within operating range. If the temperature raises too high, there will be a yellow LED for early warning. And a red LED when shut down is necessary. Stationary mode indicates that all interlocks to work in a stationary application have been met and the vehicle is ready to work. Some interlocks, such as the master switch, have other interlocks as well. Stationary mode is the default mode for the Vactor. Recirculator mode indicates that all interlocks have been met to run the recirculator as intended. This means that the truck can be driven with PTOA engaged and low water flow used to circulate water from the water tanks, through the water pump, and back to the tanks. This is done to keep water from freezing in cold climates. V is for vacuum in motion. This is for fan units only. 
Vac in motion mode indicates that all interlocks have been met to run in vacuum motion functions as intended. Vacuum in motion allows the truck to be driven with the auxiliary engine running and power to the boom circuit. PTO A and B. PTO A is active when the master switch is in the on position. PTO B is active when the pump mode switch is in the mid or high position. Note, PTO B disengages after 30 seconds of non-use. To reset, turn pump mode switch to low, then back to mid or high position. Chassis tachometer for front engine RPMs. Blower tachometer for blower RPMs. Note, if your machine is a fan unit, this would be an auxiliary engine tachometer. At the bottom of the screen is an icon of the chassis engine. When we press the F1 button below the icon, the screen will change to chassis engine information screen. On this screen, you can see the available information like RPM, temperatures, oil pressure, and engine hours. When we press the back arrow, we'll return to the previous screen. The next icon is of the PD blower. Pressing the F2 button below it will change the screen to the blower information screen. Here you'll see we have an hour meter for the blower. All the other information down below that is going to be more for mechanic diagnostics. Press the back arrow to return. The next icon is of the group functions. Press F3 button. At the top of this screen, you'll see flow and footage is highlighted in green. Press the OK button to accept. This screen is a larger view of the flow meter and footage counter. Press the back arrow once to return to the previous screen. Let's press the down arrow once to root operations and press the OK button. This screen gives you LEDs for the root operations that are running. From the top, we have the mode the unit is programmed for, the master switch is on, parking brake is on, and so on. The LEDs will change color for different situations. Green, on or active. Red, air or fault. Yellow, out of home position and gray, off or disabled. Let's select the next screen. We don't have recirculate, so we'll go to boom controls. This screen shows all the boom functions and hose reel extend and retract. When I operate a switch, I will see corresponding LEDs light up. The I column is input signals, O is outputs, PN is switch input status from the panel or pennant. If the vector has wireless remote control, you will have another column of LEDs. WLS is switch input status from wireless, SYS is systems decisions of inputs, BM EXT is boom extend. BM RET is boom retract. BM L is boom left. BM R is boom right. BM U is boom up. BM D is boom down. If the vector has a 5x5 five five boom, you'll see two additional sets of LEDs. 5 asterisk 5 U is the 5x5 five five boom hose up. 5 asterisk 5 D is the 5x5 five five boom hose down. 
T C R N T proportional valve current target that's in milliamps F C R N T proportional valve current feedback in milliamps P W M is pulse width modulation percentage to proportional valve hose reel section in for hose reel extend in and out for hose reel extend out back arrow to previous screen arrow down to the next selection and hit OK this screen displays the status of the hose reel system front in N is front panel joystick in neutral position rear in N is rear panel joystick in neutral position F J S M A L F is front joystick malfunction R J S M A L F is the rear joystick malfunction front joystick disabled rear joystick disabled F speed pot percentage that's the front pay speed control in a percentage R speed pot percentage is rear pay speed control percentage F target front pay target current this is in milliamps R target rear pay target current in milliamps if the vector has a wireless remote control you'll have two additional LEDs in this area wireless target wireless pay target current and wireless pay pot which is wireless pay pot reading the system pay target current milliamps payout current feedback in milliamps pay pulse width modulation percentage pay in current feedback in milliamps let's navigate to our next screen this screen displays the status of the debris body control system stationary mode common valve output status door closed switch status door closed output status door open switch status door open output status debris body down switch status debris body down output status debris body up switch status debris body up output status boom is not operating interlocked out hose reel in out is not operating interlocked out no vacuum no system request to enable vacuum by vacuum enable disable switch on all panels body and door switch not home debris body and door switches are not in the home position during startup let's navigate to our next screen this screen displays the status of the footage counter parameters the first parameter is the number of total layers figure a figure B number of wraps per layer figure C the number of outer layer wraps figure D outer layer diameter in inches the outer wrap from center of hose to center of hose the opposite side of the reel the encoder reading is for reference only our next screen is throttle controls this screen will vary if a wireless pennant is equipped starting at the top pennant status on panel throttle inhibit this would show if the panel throttle was disabled 
System throttle on. System throttle up. And system throttle down. The TSC1 request is what RPMs you are asking the engine to do. And the TSC1 actual is what the engine is doing. Note I took this picture when the engine was not running. Our next screen is water pressure control. Pump current target in milliamps. Pump current feedback in milliamps. Current range in milliamps. Low flow status, mid flow status, and high flow status. And this is the status of the rotary switch on the control panel for your pump modes. PTO A and B status lights. PTO B disabled A, PTO B disabled during the startup due to non home position of the water mode selector switch. And PTO B disabled B would be PTO B disabled during startup due to a long wait time for activated water pump on off switch, three minutes. Directional valve A and directional valve B output signals. The directional valve is the pilot valve that shifts the D08 Vickers valve, and that is what changes the direction of the water pump. The reserve screen only shows what options are installed on this vehicle. Our IntelliView screen shows option 1 is the flow and alarm package, option 5 boom work lights, option 7 rear work lights, option 11 load limit, option 12 boom joystick, option 14 footage counter, and option 17 which is the front blower control. Footage counter calibration. If equipped the footage counter needs calibrated to match the hose length and size on the reel. Repairs may also change the length and need to be accounted for by entering the correct length. On the main screen, press the menu button. Press F1 for the adjustment screen. Scroll down, select the footage counter to adjust and push OK. Scroll down and select Hose Length to adjust and press OK. Depending on what you intend to do, if you're putting on a new roll of 600 foot of hose, you can hit Reset. This will default to 7200 inches. You will get a confirmation screen. Answer yes. If you did a hose repair and shortened the length 2 feet, you'll need to lower the value by 24 inches. Convert the new hose length into inches and using the up and down arrows adjust display to match the new hose length. Every time that you push an arrow, the value will change in 12 inch increments. Push OK to confirm. In the Vector Manual Maintenance section, there is a chart to convert feet into inches. Turn the master switch off and back on in the cab to reset the power. The new internal calculation will be based on the new hose length and can be seen on the Options screen. The following messages are examples of what you could encounter. By pressing F3, we'll display the next message if there is more than one. Press F2, we'll say OK and the message will turn off. If the air is severe, 
The message will reoccur until the problem is corrected. This message is from the chassis CAN bus telling you about an engine oil problem. Chassis engine coolant temperature error. Chassis engine turbo boost pressure error. If your Vactor is a fan unit with an auxiliary engine, you will also receive messages from that engine. This message is an auxiliary engine oil pressure error. Auxiliary engine coolant temperature error. Auxiliary engine oil temperature error. There are also going to be messages from the Vactor system. The VANSCO electronic system will do safety checks and if it sees a switch in the on position at the time of startup it will not allow that function to turn on for safety. This error is saying that one or more of the boom function switches and the hose reel in and out function switches are not at the home position. Set them to the home position to reset. This message is, vacuum enabled switch on the front control panel is on during startup. Turn it off to reset. A front or rear e-stop switch is pushed in. Low water, flow gauge is disabled. The front panel hose reel joystick has been disabled during self-checking. Use the master switch in the cab to reset. No home position detected. Check wireless controller to make sure every joystick and switch is in the home position. The rotor pump switch on the front control panel is on during self-checking. Turn off to reset. PTOB has been disabled during startup. Set the mode selector switch to the home position to reset. If the rotor pump is not turned on in three minutes, PTOB will turn off automatically, regardless of position of pump mode switch, and a message will pop up on the display. This is to help save fuel, heat in the hydraulic system, and wear and tear on the parts. Hydraulic oil temperature is getting high. All functions of the Vactor module will shut down if the oil temperature goes above 200 degrees Fahrenheit. This makes it important to take corrective action immediately when the truck reaches the 180 degree Fahrenheit warning point. Hydraulic oil temperature reached the system shutdown temperature. Hydraulic oil temperature sensor malfunction. Troubleshoot sensor. Sensor may be shorted internally. This message and ones like it could also appear due to no communication on the CAN bus from other modules. If there's a broken CAN wire, there would be no communication. The VANSCO system is a network of modules connected by two wires called CAN bus. This picture shows the location of each module. The IntelliView will act as a diagnostic screen for the VANSCO system by viewing the inputs and outputs of the modules. Press F4 in this screen shows all the VMMs on the system. VMM2 is highlighted green. Select OK to open that module. In this screen, when moving a switch will cause a light to turn on. In this case of the hose reel joystick, it is a potentiometer. We will see the light and we will see a milliamp value change as we move the joystick. With the location of VMM2 being mounted at the hydraulic valve area, these lights are the outputs going to the solenoid valve for the hose reel rotation. In the manual, you'll find a table of inputs and outputs for each module. This table shows the VMM location and model, 
then each input and its function. To the right is the pin location for the wires in the plug. Let's select VMM3 and the table of its inputs only. This module is inside the cab console. Look at light 7 to the left. The table shows this to be the master switch input, meaning the switch is on. If we look at input 11, there is no light from the PTOA pressure switch. This is because when I took the picture, the engine was off. Looking now at the outputs to the right top, number 1 is lit. This is telling us there is a signal going to PTOA solenoid. VMM4 is mounted at the hydraulic valve area. It primarily supports accessories and rear door functions. VMM5 is mounted in the lower hose reel control box. It supports boom and hose reel hydraulic function inputs. VMM5's output table. On output number 4 is lit indicating the joystick has power. Number 5 is vacuum relief light is on. And number 8 is low water light is on. VMM6 is mounted in the hose reel upper control box. It supports auxiliary engine, blower, and hose reel option input functions. VMM6's output table. VMM9 is mounted at the hydraulic valve area. This module supports the water system functions. Look at input lights 1 and 2. These are the input signals from the water pump magnetic sensor. If you had no water flow from the water pump, these lights cycling on and off one and then the other would indicate the water pump moving hydraulically. VMM-17 is mounted at the hydraulic valve area. It supports the boom functions. The R-170 module is mounted under the cover on the back of the hose reel. This is the wireless pendant receiver. You will be able to view just like the VMMs and see switch functions from the handheld wireless pendant. I would like to thank you for viewing this class. If you would like to make a comment or ask questions, you can email me at carryo at haker.com.